So now that we've made our way through the first and second transitions of the halo, we can start to work on what is called a Jesus. I personally define a Jesus as any time you do a backside, frontside halo, or a frontside, backside halo, you just have to complete both rotations for it to be a Jesus. Some people do it with their arms out, some people do it with their elbows out only, but you can do it any way that you want with your arms totally down, etc. A good way to learn the Jesus is to just figure out the mechanics of the move. Again, we're going to be dealing with a very exact 180 degree turn with our body. Thinking camera, wall, camera, wall as I turn. If you're starting the halo to enter the Jesus with your right hand, in order to stay in the middle of the staff and not move from side to side and around, take your right leg and cross it in front of your left. So when you move on to the Jesus, you're again going to be dealing with those exact 180 degree turns in order to stay in the center of the staff as it goes around your body. The best thing to do is to figure out just the mechanics of the move overall. So again, the way that we did when we were learning the halo, you're going to use your right hand to set it up on your right shoulder at the angle that we normally work with. If you're using your right hand for this, you're going to take your right foot and cross it over your left. I feel that using a guide hand can really teach you quicker, so we're going to hold on to the staff right now with our right hand the entire time until we figure it out. We're going to do a rainbow arc over our head, so a little chin to chest, and then we're going to turn that 180 degrees. Now the wick that's on the left is going to pass up and over your face to the right, and again turn that 180 degrees. And you'll notice that we're still stuck in that same horizontal triangle that we've been working with this entire time. So again, crossing our right foot over our left, you're going to take your right hand from the right to the left over your head, turn your body 180 degrees, and then go from the left to the right over your face. Turn your body right to left over the back of your head, left to right over your face. Now to get the mechanics with the left hand side, use your left hand to set it on your left shoulder. Cross your left foot in front of your right. Now using the left hand as a guide hand, you're going to go from left to right over the back of your head. And then you're going to turn 180 degrees and go from right to left. Left to right, right to left. This is a very dynamic move that has a lot of useful applications and this is only a very brief look at it. So be patient with yourself and give yourself time. If you have any questions, feel free to message me at Ninja Pirate.